very, very healing and very liberating for them for the first time after many, many months of, you know, sickness and financial stress for them to come in and, and be able to, to cut loose and to laugh and to do this and just to be their self again. Now, you didn't show us your breast I now. Am... I've been waiting all night. <laughs> <laughs> So what we're going to do is, over here is the colors that we're going to use. After you, you do your imprint, I have a whole suitcase of colors, but they're too thick to be able to use for this, mm -hmm. this part of it. But afterwards, you guys are more than welcome to use my colors. And I've got some really bright, bright stuff in there. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how this is done. You take it, okay, and you just kind of mm -hmm. swiggle it around. You work from your darkest to your lightest and do different forms like that, you know. Now you can see yeah, okay. that there's just a few little drops of this sitting on top of some of that dark and then some of it's thicker and things like that. Dip it in. Do not mush it around. Don't stir your plate. Just, but you can just take your plate it. and you can do this with Roll it. it. Okay. okay? But right. don't move once you, your plate once okay. you've got it on there, okay? Yeah. You're going to take your canvas wherever you want that, that image to be. Don't move your canvas either, okay? Right. Rock, not roll, rock. <laughs> All right? Rock, 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 and roll. So there you go. Aw, oh, cool! Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. Yeah, not, you know what? That might be too full. When you're diagnosed, yeah. I think you're cut off from, from, from brain to here. You, you, you lose that connection. You, you totally lose that connection. That doesn't matter anymore. You go into survival mode. And this no longer matters to you. It's no longer a sexual affiliation anymore. It's survival. I'm a mother. I'm a wife. I have a reason to live. Yeah, we've had quite a few comments <clears throat> from uh, about the class. And that's, I mean, in Atlanta, there's never a thing said. People are so much more open-minded. And it's, it, it, like Debbie said, it's, it's quite a shame that people cannot understand, you know, what we're doing here. You know, with the class. I mean, I've I've had a coworker who's had breast cancer, and it was very challenging for her. And mm -hmm. I thought it'd be a wonderful opportunity. And I got the email, and I thought I'd love to get involved and be mm -hmm. expressive and try something new at the same time. Yeah. Bravo, girl! Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Thank you. But I brought support, and then I, I have support. another person coming too. Okay. And I'm like, well, <laughs> other than being around a whole bunch of strangers, let me bring some girlfriend back up. That was a good thing. Mm -hmm. Sunshine colors. My mother-in-law had breast cancer. She's she didn't have to have her. She didn't have to have a mastectomy or anything, but she had to go through chemo and she lost her hair. And uh, she's past her five-year mark. And I told her I was coming to today. I think I'll probably try to auction it off if it turns out. <laughs> you know, and raise some money. And anytime we get a chance to donate to breast cancer, we do. You know, to be able at the end of their journey for everything to come out that has happened in that journey and to see them being able to put their self out there for other women that are victims of this is so empowering and so courageous to do that. It's remarkable that they can put their self out there.